Hi everybody, it's Kadzo with Kadzo for Africa and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to get right to it. So I'm going to cover the top five states, top five work settings, top five job titles that are actually the top in 2015 so that international students could know exactly what's happening here in the U.S. and keep in touch with the trends. So stay tuned. The top five job titles in the U.S. in 2015 for international students, according to myvisajobs.com, are the following. And number one, we have a program analyst position. We have software engineers coming in at number two. We have computer programmers coming in at number three. We have systems analysts coming in at number four. And at number five, we have software developers. So folks, as you can see, if you're an international student considering an education in the US, it looks like the computer sciences, the information age is top again in the world. And those are definitely opportunities that you need to take a look at if you're considering an opportunity in the United States. The next ranking I'll talk about, according to myvisitjobs.com, is the top five industries in the United States. So that you as an international student can know what areas that you can get into that are really most productive, especially if you're looking at becoming a global citizen. And here Top we go. Top five industries. Number one, computer system design and related sciences. Number two, management, science, and technical consulting. Number three, colleges, universities, and professional schools. And number four, architectural areas, engineering, and related areas. And number five, software publishing. So these are the areas for you to take a look at in terms of job titles when you're considering opportunities in the United States. And the third ranking I'll talk about is the top cities in the United States, according to myvisajobs.com, that have hired the most international students. And so I'll get right to it. So number one, we have New York City which had um, about 32,000 people apply to be able to work uh, for the H-1B visa. We have number two, a really interesting state in uh, the South, and this is Houston, Texas, which is coming in at number two with about 15,200 people applying for work visas there. And number three, we have San Francisco, California in the West Coast with about 11,300 people applying for work visas there. And then number four, we have San Jose, California. So it looks like the West Coast is leading here uh, based on 2015 with 9,000 applications for work visas. And then last but not least in number five is my own um, state where I work, Atlanta, Georgia, with about 8,900 um, uh, uh, you know, applications for the work visa. So typically what this means, guys, is that these are the states where um, employers have been open to applying for work visas for students. So definitely uh, take a look at this, especially as you're exploring opportunities in the United States if you're looking at an opportunity to work. And last but not least, I will take a look at the ranking according to My Visa Jobs 2015 that ranks the states that have hired the most international students. And so we'll get right to it. So number one is California with about 98,000 um, applications for work visas. And then number two is the state of Texas. Number three is New York, and I forgot to mention this, um, the state of Texas had 51,000 applications in 2015 for work visas. And then third is New York State um, with about 48,000 applications uh, for work visas in 2015. And then number four is New Jersey, so the East Coast looks um, pretty interesting for 2015 in terms of opportunities. And New Jersey has about 36,000 applications. And then we have Illinois coming in at number five. Um, with 27,300 applications in 2015, according to the My Visa Jobs. And you know, it's quite interesting. I'll also take a look at the average salaries um, in 2015. So in the state of California, according to the My Visa Jobs, the average salary was $94,000. In number two, the state of Texas, the average salary was $78,000. And in number three, New York, $89,000 was the average salary. New Jersey with $76,000 with the average salary for international students. And last but not least, Illinois, $77,000 for international students who are looking to work. And it's interesting because uh, the top industry remains the computer age and the information age. So if you are watching this and you are from the third world, and I am talking to you as a fellow third world um, person as well, Take a look at those cyber cafes. 
get your information age going on. This is the era of technology. And if you're looking to become a global, um, a global person that lives any place of the world, then these um, are definitely the areas that you need to look at. But there's a lot of interesting stuff in 2015. Like I mentioned, I found it quite interesting that colleges, universities, and professional schools are also really um, a good opportunity for international students. So if you ever wanted to teach, you wanted to be in a profession like mine, which is motivating people in the classroom, um, as well as working with students directly in universities, or you wanted to become a doctor, for example, or a nurse, then those are areas uh, that are really trending for international students um, in 2015. Grandfather once said, when you're near, who patentia, which means that if you have initiative and focus, you will definitely find a way. And this is what my channel is about. So I hope that you found this useful in terms of understanding how international students did in 2015. And if you're a prospective student watching this from a different country, feel inspired. Remember everybody that uh, for more information about what I just talked about in this video, please take a look at my blog so you can be able to follow through and be able to read the specifics as well. The link to my blog is actually at the bottom um, of this video. And if you do subscribe to my channel, as promised, I will send you a list of schools in the United States that offer scholarships for international students as well. So hopefully you'll remain connected. Remember everybody, life is full of opportunities and education is the key to your success. So until my next video, everybody, have a great day.